five dangerous trends among students today. If you look at the research, it says 98% of students have lack of concentration. As a parent, you are sending them to the best schools, best colleges, spending millions on them. You know what? They go to the school, they are learning from the best teachers, but they are not getting the best from their classes. You know why? The reason is they lack concentration. Especially after the invention of the mobile phones and the social media and the TV channels, all that, a lot of students have the concentration problem. And nobody is teaching them. That is even a bigger problem. This is the biggest obstacle why most students are suffering in their exams. And the second reason why dangerous trends among the students is the lack of memory. Memory problem is a big issue among students. And that's because most students are not aware of how their brain actually works. Do you know, the moment you read a book within 24 hours, how many hours? 24 hours, 70% of the information will be gone. Naturally, 70% will be forgotten. Within three days, around 85% of the information will be deleted. Within seven days, more than 95% of information will be gone. You must be thinking, oh, my son studies well, but he is learning and at the same time he is forgetting because he has been not taught the brain-friendly learning methodologies. Now, the third dangerous trend among students is this. You might have experienced it personally or you might already know somebody who has through this. They open the book, the moment they open the book, they fall into sleep. In fact, we used to make fun while I was studying. Oh, you're not getting sleep, let me bring you a book, you know. And the moment he starts reading the book, he will fall into sleep. Now, this is the biggest obstacle for students. They really want to study, but they don't know how to go forward because they feel sleepy. One more thing, they study well. They go to the exam, but they have the exam fear. And because of the exam fear, when they go to the exam, they cannot write it properly. And even bigger problem is mental blocks. You know what? None of the school teaches these things and how to overcome these problems. That is the biggest tragedy of our schools. They teach the children in such a manner, you should by heart the stuff, Go to the exam and just omit whatever you studied and forget everything. That is what happens in the schools. And they are all teaching what to learn. They say study biology, study chemistry, study history. But they never teach how to study. For example, imagine a driving school saying, oh, this is the car, this is the gear. They are talking about what all the things the car does or car can do. But they never teach how to drive. All schools, they only talk about the what, they never talk about the how. Years ago, I was reading about uh, Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda goes to Chicago and he starts reading books. You might have heard of that, right? He goes to a library and he reads a book within 10 minutes. And, and he returns the book to the librarian and he asks for one more book. And then one more book. Within half an hour, some five, six books he reads and gives back. And the librarian is shocked. If you just want to look at the book and give me, why are you asking for the book? And he replies, I am not just looking at the book, I have read these books. And one thing that happens is librarian is shocked. So he opens one of the books and he asks few questions to Swami Vivekananda and he answers. And when I learned that, I was shocked. I was thinking it might be fake. And that's where I started my research. I started studying accelerated learning, photo reading, mind reading, and so many different tools and techniques, hypnotic learning, one after the other. I wanted to know, will it really work? Speed reading, rapid reading, there are super reading, so many different techniques I learned. And when I learned it, it made huge difference in my life. I could read anything quickly, easily, effectively. In fact, a 250-page book 
when I learned these things, I could finish in less than 45 minutes. And you can too. I have the track record. You know what? I have read more than 6,000 books in the past 10 years. And I personally believe knowledge is the only thing there is. In today's world, knowledge is the currency. There was a time when in the stone age, whoever is strong, he will be the king. And then came the weapons, right? Whoever has a better weapon, he is the king. And then industrial age. Now it is an information age. Whoever is more knowledgeable, whoever is more skilled, they are going to rule the world. And learning how to learn is the most important skill of the century, of this generation. Now, what do you learn in how to study effectively course? The first thing we do is we teach the students how they can improve their concentration, what specific things they can do to improve their concentration, how they can improve their memory, how they can use their whole brain instead of a part of the brain. Most people use only part of the brain. Not just that, how to overcome exam fear, how to study effectively, how to manage time, how to overcome laziness, how to overcome procrastination, one after the other. And then we'll ask you as a parent or as a teacher, what changes do you want in your student or your son or your daughter? And those changes step by step using NLP, hypnosis, accelerated learning, mind control, EFT and so many different tools and strategies and methodologies including neurohypnotic repatterning, design human engineering. There are so many things we have learned over the years. Using all these things, we will transform your kid like never before. And trust me, this is going to be the most important training your child has ever attended. I can assure you that. And the training is going to begin soon and we take a limited number of people. So you need to hurry and visit mysuccesspoint.com and contact us immediately. Thank you.